Wait, can this? Oh, hold on, fly by, fly by, yes! Uh oh, we're going off a cliff. Oh no! Oh, that was, oh, I didn't realize this island was that big. Uh oh. We're getting shot at, aircraft carriers, no! Oh no, okay, we've been hit, now we are seaplane, we can land this. I need that other destroyer to get hit, come on, hit him. Hit him, oh, this looks so cool. All right, here we go. Oh, counter steer. Oh, don't flip it. Don't flip it. Oh, no. Hello, YouTube. Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Simple Planes. And yes, folks, we're back once again. And we are ready to check out some really awesome creations here today. And we are going to start off with a plane called the Kraken Seaplane. This is is a beast check this thing out look at all the propellers it's huge i can land this in water it's got like a boat mode and it's got a ton of torpedoes on it so we're gonna have a bit of fun with this and all the other creations that we check out now do keep in mind all the creations will be linked down in the description so if you want to play with anything that you saw on today's episode it'll be down there and if you're enjoying simple planes on the channel maybe hit that thumbs up button it helps out my channel and comment below with suggestions for future Simple Planes episodes and what you want to see next. Alright, so we have our little seaplane here. I'm trying to remember where the ships are. If I'm not mistaken, over in this right area over here, the beast will be with its uh, two destroyers, I believe. There's an island there. Huh, let's see if we can pick up any ground targets here. Uh, not reading anything at the moment. Uh, because what I want to do, I want to actually... Oh, there they are. It took them a second to appear. They're up in that corner over there. So let's go ahead and turn. Now, this is not a fighter or anything. It takes a little bit for this thing to turn. It is quite huge. Uh, same for when we're in the water. Uh, but what it does have, it has a, uh, a boat mode. So you can click, I believe it's the 8 on the action key. And it's, uh, it's on it right now, but if you turn it off, it'll go into boat mode. And you can no longer control the uh, the wings and stuff, so you actually have to kind of glide along the water. Which is, what the? What was that all about? I wasn't even targeting you. Where'd he go? That was, uh, that scared me. Man, <laughs> that was close. Oh, there it is. <laughs> We're getting harassed, I think, by one of my old planes. Okay, that's cool. Whatever, dude. But anyways, uh, we're going to land here and go into boat mode, and we'll be able to arm our torpedoes, which I believe it has 24, if I'm not mistaken. A pretty good amount of torpedoes here. So let's go ahead and start to lose altitude here. Let's switch over. That way I can see my throttle, which right now we're not even at full throttle. Uh, we're going to throttle up. We need to be closer to those ships. I'd actually like to be on the side of those ships, but I don't think I can really maneuver that way i think i might need to approach them from the rear here so what we're gonna do let's go ahead and drop our altitude here this thing looks so cool it reminds me of a the color scheme is odd to me it looks like something out of harry potter that those two gold and like maroon together i don't know why i'm getting that vibe is anybody else in the comment section that do you get that vibe is it a i don't even remember much i don't know much about harry potter but just that color scheme i keep thinking of something Something's clicking in my head, and I'm not really sure what it is. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead, drop down to 50% throttle. Actually, let's go a little lower. I want to see the loss of altitude. There it is. Okay, now let's kill it now. We're going to start gliding here. I can see my shadow in the water. Okay, be careful. I don't want to rip anything off here. Ooh, let the tail hit first. Oh, that was beautiful. It lands so good. And then now we're floating, of course, on the big buoy things on the wings. All right, so let's go ahead and switch out of this. Now, admittedly, it takes a little bit to take this plane off. Out of the uh, out of the water, you have to have a long straightaway because it takes so long to get the front end to lift up and carry the rest of it out of the water. Um, let's see. Uh, you know, we're actually pretty on target with those ships. I almost want to just unload right now with the torpedoes and hit them from a distance. Now, you do have to be very, very careful with this. Uh, you can outrun your torpedoes in this ship, or this plane. It's called a plane ship. <laughs> yeah, you can outrun them, and that could be a problem. So, let's go ahead and arm torpedoes. Yep, 24 of them. The boats are heading away from us, I believe. Alright, so let's turn a little bit. Okay, here we go. 
We're gonna get a nice spread here of torpedoes. There we go. I'm kind of tilting over to the left to try to get these to maybe have a little bit more movement on them. I think the VTOL controls actually work a little bit too to help turn. Let's go ahead and release some more. Okay, let's kill our... Sh <laughs> oh no! See, that's the problem. You can outrun your torpedoes. And I think we just ran over one of them. Dang it! That was going so well. Look at that! Those torpedoes are heading right for it. Well, that's rather embarrassing. All right, so we're gonna try a bit of a different approach here with this plane. So let's go ahead, arm our torpedoes. We're not in boat mode. We're gonna be out of it right now. So let's go air to ground. There's our ships right there. All right. We're gonna actually, uh, we're gonna be like a torpedo bomber here. We're gonna go up this side. We're gonna carry a little bit of altitude. Can't be too high off the ground. I think we'll explode the torpedoes. So let's go ahead. We're gonna do a test shot here. Does it hit and land? Yes, it does. Okay. They're going a little forward, so I'm gonna tilt my wings just a tiny bit here. And we are gonna start unleashing. Oh, no, 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 a little too low. I mean, I guess I'll be okay if I land in the water, but I don't wanna hit my own torpedoes again. That was rather embarrassing. All right, so let's get a spread here. We're just dropping so many of them. This is insane looking. It's like left side, right side, left side, right side. Yes. Uh, okay, let's start aiming some in front now, just in case I'm a little too uh, too behind on them. So let's go bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, 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 oh. They shouldn't be targeting now. I think they will only target as soon as they get hit. All right, so all torpedoes have been released here. Hopefully they're not... Oh, that back group's going to miss. All right, this front group, we're going to have to rely on them. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just a uh, a big seaplane that's just, you know, cruising. Yeah, those front ones should be good, I think. I think so. If we can destroy the back destroyer... Oh, we're looking actually in pretty decent shape here. All right, they're going to start hitting me with AA as soon as this happens. So let's go ahead and swap over, get everything else armed. Okay, our turret is armed and ready to go. Oh, boy. Oh, you can see it in the background. Uh, first destroyer is hit. The aircraft for sure is going to get hit. Very possible that we're going to hit the other destroyer. Come on, baby. We're getting shot at. Aircraft carriers. No! Oh, no. Okay, we've been hit. Now, we are a seaplane. We can land this. I need that other destroyer to get hit. Come on, hit him. Hit him. Oh, this looks so cool. We're losing pieces. Got the other destroyer. The fleet has been hit. The one destroyer back there only got hit once. I think it's still up. All right, we need to do emergency landing in the water here. Let's go ahead. Come on, don't blow up on me. Don't blow up on me. Oh, the front's on fire. The turret's on fire. By the way, the turrets are actually pretty amazing. Uh, they do fire a lot of shots. Uh, I'm not too worried about that right now. I'm worried about surviving here, so... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. Okay, start to poke the nose up. Oh, buddy. There we go. We are in the water. Okay, let's kill uh, kill throttle. Okay, let's swap out of airplane mode. Do those eventually go out or... Oh, they do. Wait. Are we still good to go? Hold on, let's fire this back up. Oh, please tell me we can lift off. Okay, are our turret... What? What? What was that? Something just came flying from the front of us. Okay. Okay, turrets are all the way. Is my front turret completely damaged? Can I fire it still? It's kind of questionable. The back one's still fire, which you can see it's a very high rate of fire. Yeah, I think we could still... Oh, yeah, no, we could still go in and try to hit that uh, one destroyer. All right, let me see if this thing will still take off. Uh, we're down a couple propellers here. Look at the uh, the blades are actually stuck in the wing. Yeah, this front turret's down too. Come on. We might not have enough lift now to get this thing out of the water. All right, that is a big nope. I cannot get the seaplane out of the water right now. Those uh, missing propellers, which actually it's five of them, so almost one wing is completely off. It will not lift anymore. It'll somewhat turn. It turns really good to the left now. Uh, but, yeah, we're so far away from the fleet. We did a good bit of damage. This thing is amazing. I really like this craft. 
definitely going to keep this one uh, in my save files just in case I ever want to pull it back out. But yeah, <laughs> there's not much we can do here. We did enough damage there. I was pretty proud of being able to hit that other stuff with torpedoes, even though we had like 24 of them. But yeah, let's uh, move on to the next thing. All right, so for the next creation here, we have probably one of the fastest things I have ever seen in Simple Planes. Like, if you blink, you're probably going to miss this. So, this is called the Hyperdrive. I've got a really, really big runway here. I hope I can handle this. Now, does this even have controls? I don't know. Let's see. Let's go, uh... I think we... Hold on. Let's try the... I know the one action button. I know what it does. What is, like, two, three, four... Uh, any of these do anything? Oh. I quit moving. Oh, let's hit one. Oh! <laughs> what? Wait. Where did we end up? Hold on. Hold on. We got to restart this. Man, maybe we should spawn this in air. Okay, it's twitching. Like, it's just ready to go here. All right, so we got that. So if we hit the one key, it launches it. So if we go... <laughs> What is even happening? Yeah, this thing, uh, I think I need to launch this in air. I know this is going to be kind of stupid, but let's go up here. Let's go, uh, uh, we'll go from the approach here. There we go. No, I need the approach. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and restart. All right, here we go. Let's throttle it up. Oh, what is happening? All right, all right, ready, 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 launch! What? What? What is this? I don't... I'm not sure I understand what's happening here. Let's try it again. Okay, let's go immediately to launch mode. <gasps> there it goes! There it... What? How fast are we going right now? Oh, no. It can't even keep up with what's happening. What is this creation? Uh... Okay. Um, I think we're picking up speed. No, we're actually losing. So let's throttle it up. Oh, the game. This is definitely the fastest. Like, we, we broke the game. Uh-oh. Uh, wait. Where do we just go? It's We're in a white room. Oh, no. Never mind. We're still in the sky. Um, yeah, you know, I was just intrigued by the name of the creation. I was pretty sure this wasn't going to last very long, but obviously we've broken some sort of record. Uh, we are going very fast. We're really, really high in the air, and we probably circled the globe Probably several times, so, uh, you know, I think we're gonna call it a day with this one. Alright, so here we are in Maywar, and we have a pod racer from, uh, well, technically this isn't, isn't based on, like, one pod racer, but if you remember the, uh, Star Wars The Phantom Menace, uh, they had the pod racers, which was basically the best part of the film, in my opinion, but, yeah, we have the Duracell pod racer. That... <laughs> That looks ridiculous. It's a couple 9-volt batteries. Uh, you know, I should probably have uh, read how this works. Uh, I think I know how this works, Han. Let's, uh, let's click some buttons here. Okay, 8 is... I don't know mode. Uh, do any of these do anything useful? Whoa! <laughs> it's got parachutes. It looks like Garfield eyes. Um, let's see... Um, can I release those? Okay, let's get rid of the parachutes. We don't need no parachutes. Actually, you know, we probably do want those. I don't know. Let's see what happens here. And, oh! Dude! Hold on. Does this have, like, a cockpit cam? Please tell me it has a cockpit cam. Oh, that is sweet! Dude, that is so awesome. I really hope they have more of these on the workshop. Oh, we're hauling the mail, too. 200 miles on the ground, or, you know, low to the ground, is not bad. How is this thing hovering like this? Dude, this is intense. Hold on, let's go over. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, we good? We're good. <laughs> Dude, that is awesome. Uh, gonna hit this hill. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we're getting flung. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. Uh oh, oh. Uh, yeah. That is so cool. I love that. Oh, I want to play with this. We could just make an episode about just the pod racer here. Hold on, let me uh, reset that. I am dead serious. This might be one of the funnest things to control because you can feel the bumps and everything feels like it's reacting to the ground, which it is. But just the way the floatiness is and the way the pod is all shifting around. Oh, this is so cool. All right, what are we heading up to? Uh oh 
Wait, can this? Oh, hold on. Fly by. Fly by. Yes. Uh-oh, we're going off a cliff. Oh, no. Oh, that was... Oh, I didn't realize this island was that big. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, should we uh, use the parachutes? No, full speed. We can land this. We'll be okay. This is working, huh? We're slowing ourselves down a bit as far as how fast we're falling. I still think this is going to bottom out and blow up, but we'll see. Man, there needs to be a pod racing map in Simple Plains. That could be amazing. All right, here we go. Oh, come on. Come on, don't explode on me. Don't explode on me. <gasps> oh, I thought there for... Oh, whoa. You know, I thought there for a second where we... Well, actually, you know, we did make it. Look, the pod's over there. It's fine. All right, is the pods, are they the actual engines, or is the pod where the, uh, the racer is? I don't know. All right, here we are at the track. Let's go ahead and light this thing up. All right, so... There's water all around here. Can we follow this track? Like, how tight can this thing turn? Let's go here. Man, we need to do some of the racing events here in Simple Plains, which they do have them. I've just never actually completed one of them. Uh, we're doing good. I mean, we're a little outside the track here, but... Uh, keep turning. Oh, yeah, pick up that speed. Oh, buddy, this is fun. Oh, we had to do that little tight oval track up there. That could be awesome. Let's go here. We're going to take a... It's going to be a right, like a little chicane here. So we'll go right. And then we'll skid over to the left side. Oh, boy. All right, let's go ahead and go straight off here. And I don't think this is too bad of a drop, so we should be okay. Oh, is that a boat ramp? Uh oh, I'm gonna pull up a little bit. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. There we go. All right, let's pull up. Soften the. Oh, oh, come on, come on, get get it up. Okay, let's go. Oh, we're doing it. We're on the water. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oh. Yeah, it's like those times you find that one Simple Plains uh, item and you're just like, yes, this is like the best thing ever. Uh, let's cruise by the big fleet real quick. All right, here we are. We are at the fleet. They're probably going to be a little bit freaked out to see a pod racer pass by, but you know, perfectly normal things that happen every day, <laughs> especially a Duracell pod racer. Kind of wondering where the idea came up for that. Like, why did we make it a Duracell battery? That is awesome. Hold on, let's go ahead. Uh, let's do that parachute. Does that actually work? Does it slow us down? All right, there's parachute. Uh, it's killing the speed a little bit on it. It's not too bad. All right, let's release those. All right, fleet. You're going to get charged up by these batteries. Let's go ahead and uh, aim towards the fleet here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, somebody mentioned they think these boats are made out of rubber. <laughs> Whenever you actually hit, like, a, uh, a boat with an aircraft, it does, like, nothing. It takes explosives to... Oh, that was close. There we go. Yeah, it takes explosives to do anything to these. So let's go... Oh! Did we do it? See? The pod racer just bounced right off. Actually, a part of the pod is over there. It's heading for the other one. Hold on, if I gas that back up, does it still have power? No, it's dead. It's dead. But that is an awesome creation. Anyways, I got uh, one more thing that I do want to check out here today. All right, so I figured we can wrap this up with something that we don't play a whole lot with, and that is ground vehicles. So I have a Toyota Trophy truck here. This looks like it's perfect for Maywar Island because it's the dunes. Like, this is awesome. Uh, let's see, does this thing have any actual features? So you got your blinkers. Okay, do we have normal headlights? There's headlights. Sweet. Okay, just turn everything on. Wait, what the heck was that? Did I just release the mud flaps? I believe I did. Okay. Uh, let's hit the gas here. Please tell me this has a cool cockpit view. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Dude, that's actually pretty good. Why did they get so quiet in here? I guess it's which way you look. Yeah, so this is like a Baja-style truck. How does the suspension look? On oh, here we go. Dude, that is cool. Uh-oh, we are going really fast right now. Whoa, this thing books! 200 miles an hour for a trophy truck in the middle of the desert? That's pretty impressive. Oh, and uh, I think we can jump off the side of the cliff here. Yeah, it's got a, a really good suspension setup. You can see the uh, suspension up there. It's got the solid bar in the back. That is so sweet. Uh-oh, don't crash into a pole. All right, we're good. 
Oh, yeah. I didn't realize vehicles work this good in uh, Simple Plains. Han, where is the cliff at? We're coming up on it. It's so deceiving here in the desert. You can't really tell how close you... Oh, I can tell we're close now. All right, here we go. Oh, counter steer. Oh, don't flip it. Don't flip it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Question is, can we do a full 360 here and land it? Uh, oh, dude. Oh, we're almost doing it. Okay, we just destroyed the shocks. All right, we're good. Oh, let's just let off the throttle. Uh, oh, 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 this is the most intense crash ever. This is actually really awesome. Uh, we're still rolling down. This is a huge hill. Oh, we just destroyed the suspension and the wheel. And oh, it's still blowing up. Are we going to survive this? Dude, it's still running. This is a tough truck. On. Boom. <laughs> that was the longest crash I think I've ever been a part of. Oh, there's some sweet dunes down here, huh? We are on fire right now. This is probably a very bad sign. Like, hey, get out of the truck. This is not a standard feature. Uh, let's go ahead and restart here, and we're going to hit some of these dunes out here. <laughs> That's crazy looking. All right, we're going to hit some dunes here and see what this is truly like. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Wait. You're telling me we flew off the side of a mountain and survived, and we hit a bump this time and blew up? That was a pretty epic explosion. <laughs> That was epic. I did not expect that at all. Okay, let's go ahead and restart here again. Huh. That's strange how that blew up there, yet we fell off a mountain and it was like nothing happened. Uh, let's ease down here. Let's go a little, uh, little first person here. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we're picking up some speed. Oh, here we go. Let's gas it up. Yeah. Race into the uh, the shoreline here. Uh oh! Oh no! Oh no! No, we're good. We're good. We damaged a little bit. Uh, maybe some shock damage. Looks like the mud flap is in the tire. Let's go ahead. Let's drop those. What button was that? There we go. Drop those out. Yes. Now while the uh, the control scheme's a little funky, uh, everything is with the right stick. Which, that's pretty natural for a, uh, a racing game, but the whole fact that the throttle is still like a plane. So I can sit here and just set it to a constant 100% and not have to do anything. There's no, like, letting on and off. I wonder if there's a way to change that. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're okay? We're good? Land on all fours? Come on. Come on, buddy. No, there's a racetrack out there, but this isn't meant for a racetrack. This is an off-road vehicle. Dang it, we're stuck again. All right, here we are. We are racing for the shoreline. Going to the water here. Oh, yeah, we got a nice, pretty flat area through this section. Oh, this is cool. I like the snorkel that it's got on it, too. I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, oh, can we pass through this? Oh, the convoy's up there, too. All right, let's get through this water here. Oh, don't flip. How deep is this? Can we cross right here? Come on, come on, yeah, that was cool. I mean, I kind of wish there was a water effect there, but that was still cool. Uh, I love this thing. Uh, let's do a sharp corner. There's the main part of the water. Uh-oh, don't spin it, don't spin it out, don't spin it out. Uh-oh, come on, come on. There we go. And, oh, not too deep. Can we cross here? Yeah, no! Oh, no, don't flood it. Don't flood it. Keep going. Keep going. We're good. Hey, the convoy's up here. Let's go harass it real quick. Hello, convoy. Don't mind me. I'm just passing through. Oh, this thing is as big as those trucks easily. Huh? Let's hit one of them. Uh, <laughs> oh, that actually worked. What? You know, we can run stuff into ships and it does nothing, but we ran that into a truck and that, that worked. That was awesome. That's some action movie stuff. Look at the uh, look at the damage on the. Oh, that thing is really damaged. The truck. It looks like there's a. Is there a ladder in the truck? Kind of looks like a ladder there. I don't know what that is. Well, the passenger seat. Everything's still intact. We're okay. But anyways, folks, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Simple Planes. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And yeah, 
Comment below with other ideas for Simple Planes videos if you have any creations or anything. You always join my Discord and you can send them over that way. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we will see you guys next time on Simple Planes. Thank you.